Someone is stealing my content, guys. No, that's actually not true. And I've got a lot of comments and emails from users saying, hey, these guys are taking your content, Daryl. So in case you guys have not heard or you're not aware, I'm having my YouTube videos translated into six different languages. So I'm having my videos translated into Spanish, Portuguese, Arabic, French, Hindi, and also German. Now in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how I'm doing all of this. I'll talk about how this all got started and the process of it, and also why I am doing this. And um, there is a big reason of how this all got started and why I'm doing it. So in case you guys go to my YouTube channel, just go to like the home section, you guys click on channels, you guys will notice that we have all these other channels. So we have uh, Espanol, Portuguese, Arabic, and so on and so forth. And if we click on one of these channels, like the Spanish channel, you guys will notice that the entire channel is changed to Spanish. So uh, everything, you know, even the the words, everything is completely redone for the Spanish audience. It's a very big operation, and I'll talk about how I'm doing all this in the next section. But uh, for example, you know, if you guys actually click on one of these videos, it's still me in the video, and we we have like an artist, and they do a voiceover, and they translate the entire video. But we've gone a step further here, so we actually translate every text that I put in the video in my original video. We actually take all that out, and we put in the actual. Uh, text for that native language. So here you can see we're talking about uh, we're using, you know, we have a, a Spanish uh, part here and also like over here instead of saying your logo, we say tu logo, which is like your logo. And uh, yeah, so you can see that the, the whole video is completely redone for that specific language. And we, we've done this because I wanna keep these videos very different from each other. I don't wanna sit there and take my English video, just have a, a quick voiceover and then uh, put everything in English. It's like, no, I kinda wanna you know take it a step further and I really wanna put um, these videos in their native language to help them understand uh, what I'm talking about in the video. So. Yeah, so we've actually done the thumbnail. Everything is completely redone. And it's not just for my Spanish channel, guys. It's actually for all of my channels. And you guys are probably wondering, how, how are you doing this, man? <laughs> you know? So at first, this is my Arabic channel right here. And you guys, you guys can see everything is completely uh, redone. So when I first started uh, YouTube, I had a large Spanish audience telling me, hey, Daryl, you know, we like your videos. Uh, we share all the time with our Spanish audience. But uh, a lot of uh, people in South America, they don't have perfect English. So we do like your videos and we really like to see a translation. And I just got so many emails asking me about that. And I says, well, you know, guys, I don't know. You know, that's kind of a big thing. And I decided to just start out with my Spanish channel only. So when this first happened, uh, we were only translating the Spanish videos. And when I started making videos about multi-vendor and very niche websites, I just got huge like reactions by saying, oh my gosh, you know, there's no video in Spanish that talks about multi-vendor websites with Elementor. So when I, when I realized that, I'm like, well, maybe then we can start doing niche websites and you know, maybe even my other WordPress videos. So we started doing that. And you guys can see here, um, the audience is very, it's very different from, um, you know, depending on what I'm talking about, but the Elementor uh, WordPress uh, e-commerce one did really, really good. And you guys can see here that a lot of these have just really positive uh, feedback from the viewers. In fact, I even have moderators that speak Spanish and other languages that respond in the comments for those videos because I didn't want to make the channel and then leave everybody hanging, you know, like, all right, I'm not going to answer any comments. I'm not going to participate. I'm like, no, you know, I have to engage and we have to uh, talk to uh, all of the actual uh, users for those, uh, you know, in the in the comment section of the videos. Oh, that's, that's a weird looking face I got there. But so that's how it all got started. So we are taking the videos, we're translating them and everything in the video we're translating, we're translating the thumbnail. And also we have moderators to respond to all of the comments um, in this specific uh, language. Now, let me go ahead and talk about how the actual process works here. It's actually really, really large. So uh, let's say, for example, we have our English video, right? Let's just say, all right, so you got a, you know, you got your, uh, we got the Amazon affiliate video, right? So how does this process work? Well, I first give the video to my manager, right? The manager gets the video and he gives it to the voice artist. So I say, hey, bro, I want these six videos translated. I give those to the manager and the manager takes those to the voiceover artist. Now we have six different voiceover artists. They're all in different countries and they speak English and the language and their native language, of course. So uh, like for the German guy, we give him the video and he speaks English. So it helps us out. 
and um, they actually translate the video and they also translate the red banners. Anything that is in the video that's in English, I want it in that other language. Now I realize uh, for my Hindi audience and also part of the Arabic audience, uh, a lot of those users read English anyways. So right now we're actually leaving the Hindi and the Arabic uh, characters in English because a lot of people that speak Hindi, they prefer to actually uh, read English. So I'm like, all right, we'll just do that. You know, that's <laughs> saves me a lot of work, you know? Uh, so once the actual artists, they, uh, you know, they do the whole voiceover, uh, they give it back to the manager and the manager has to verify uh, if it's correct. You know, they're going to verify the time. Uh, we're going to go ahead and look at if there's any mistakes in the video. And after that's done, we take that, the voice, the audio section, and we give it to our video editor. So we have a whole nother video editor that does everything here. And what she does is she takes the video and she puts it in. She takes all of the text translations and she edits the video. So she puts it in that specific language. So the red banners, like the ones that you guys saw over here, or where is it? The red banners, where we got, where we going here? The red banners, let me see here. I'll show you guys really quick. Yeah. So any of these red banners in my, um, in my videos or the lower thirds like that, we actually um, change all of that. Now, obviously something like this right here cannot be translated. So we're very aware of that. So we only translate what can be translated. Like for example, we cannot translate WordPress. I mean, we could put it, you know, in another language, but it wouldn't make sense. It's like putting McDonald's in another language. It's like, no, it's just McDonald's, you know, it's just Starbucks, you know? So you don't want to translate word for word because it doesn't work out in the long run. It doesn't work out at all, actually. So after the video editor finishes the video, they give it back to my manager. The manager there will, you know, he can actually give it back to, or I'm sorry. So we have maybe two other, two other channels where the actual artists, they upload everything because uh, we cannot copy and paste certain languages because it just doesn't work because for Arabic, they have the right to left. So we actually have to give it back to them and they'll actually fill it in for us. Once it's filled out, we kind of double check on it. Uh, then they upload everything to the channel. Now they upload it and it's unlisted. So what that means is they upload the video, but it's not live yet. So I have to kind of go in take a look at everything, make sure everything's good, make sure everything looks correct. And once I say, all right, uh, the video looks correct. I'll go ahead and publish the video. And also I have to realize the times of these countries because I want to publish it in the morning because that's when people watch YouTube the most. I know, right? So, um, also right here, the manager can also give it back to uh, tell the artist to add the translations. Um, if sometimes we can't understand the translations or if it just needs, you know, if, if the actual the uh, voiceover artist will add the translations themselves, two of them do, because again, some of them like, like the Arabic one, uh, some of these characters, we just have a really hard time putting them in. So they do that for us, which is really helpful. And then after that, they gave it back to the manager, right? And then from there, the manager will go ahead and uh, make sure everything's correct. And then if there's need, if there's like a revision that they need, they'll give it back to the manager. And then after all that's done, they'll just upload the video and then I go ahead and publish it from there. So you guys can see one video is a long process, you know? So we do spend a lot of time uh, making sure that each video is uh, correct. We make sure uh, every video looks good and the translations are correct. Also for certain videos like the WooCommerce one in particular, I actually had to dub out the shipping section and I had to actually change that because uh, in my original WooCommerce video, I talked about automated taxes. However, that only applies to America. So I had to actually take that part out and I had to put in a whole new part. So that's how everything's done. And that was the entire process of how we translate these videos. And um, you guys can see here that's, you know, the, um, you know, at first when I saw the Hindi channel, I thought we have to change everything to Hindi. And that's actually not true. So you can see here that um, the guy speaking Hindi, right? The guy speaking Hindi, but we keep everything in English. So that's just how the Hindi language works. However, for Arabic, there's more of a combination. So they'll use combinations of English and also Arabic writing. So uh, that can be a little challenging. So this is where my Arabic translator does everything for me. I'm like, you know, bro, uh, you do this and then we'll, we'll verify on vidIQ, make sure it's a search engine or a search term, and then we'll, we'll go from there. And also you can see here the Spanish channel, 
uh, we translate everything. So we make it very uh, convenient for those users to follow these channels because I want to, you know, I want to bring real quality to the to these channels. I don't want to just like have something half-assed where I just, you know, dub it over really quick and then, you know, upload. It's like no, I want it to be really professional. I want it to look really, really good. So yeah, it is a um, it is somewhat of a process. Now, one other thing that we do, so for my Arabic channel and also for my Portuguese, actually for all of them, what we've decided to do was we decided to use a different hosting company because Name Hero is a good hosting company. However, Name Hero really isn't available in a lot of these regions that I'm talking about. So uh, for example, the Arabic regions, Name Hero really has no presence and they don't have any servers. So I says, you know, how can I, how can I even recommend Name Hero if there's no servers over there? So what we've done is, let's say for example, See if we have it actually right here. Do we have it right here? No, that's actually an old link I gotta take out. All right, but anyway, so let's say for example, a user goes to the Spanish channel and they click on my link. It actually takes them to Hostinger. So we're using Hostinger to host all these other uh, countries and or these other channels. And when they click on the link, it brings them to a page that's, that fits their specific language because I don't wanna take them to an English or a page in English because I'm not sure if some of these users uh, read English. So I'm saying, you know what, if, they, if they're from Brazil or if they're from South America or wherever, I wanna provide it in their native language just to make it very, very easy and simple for all of these users. And that works for all of my channels. So for example, uh, here on my Arabic channel, if we go over here and we go to this WordPress video, see here how we kept it in English. You know, some things we have to keep in English. And in this video, I've actually taken out the section where we talk about Name Hero, and we're actually using Hostinger. And if they click on the actual link to go to Hostinger, it's all kept in Arabic. So it's just kept in their specific language. I know they can read English, but uh, just to make things more comfortable, I've decided just to put it in Arabic. So that's how this whole system works out. Now, the reason again why I started these channels is because um, a lot of it started with these like uh, niche websites, like multi-vendor, um, you know, a flat sum. And a lot of these users were saying, hey, girl, can you please translate this in, in Spanish? Because uh, we don't have any YouTubers or any people or any influencers that are talking about these specific niches. And when I did that, I just got a large amount of feedback from it. I mean, you can see from my flat sum video, uh, you know, 57,000 views over nine months, which is very good for a brand new channel. I mean, uh, starting a brand new channel is pretty tough. So that's how the whole, uh, that's how everything got started was people just constantly emailing me. And you guys can see we've changed the text. I mean, we've changed everything to fit that native language. And yeah, it's just a really big operation and I just wanted to make a video explaining to you how this all got started and why I'm doing it. So if you guys want to go ahead and subscribe to those channels, feel free to go ahead. Now, you guys also might want to know um, which videos are you translating? That's actually a really big question. I get a lot. So I've decided to translate a lot of my larger videos. So like the Amazon, the Rank Math, the WooCommerce. Anything that's a very large tutorial that I feel will be very beneficial to that channel, I upload it. However, for my Spanish channel, we're actually uploading a lot of the smaller videos because my uh, Spanish translator, he works very fast. So we, we give him a video, he's done in like two days. And I'm like, all right, well, let's do another one. So um, I'm not sure as to which videos I want to upload to my other channels. It also depends on the translator themselves. So sometimes they're busy. Uh, but I'm trying to get them more dedicated to the channel saying, oh, you know, we'll pay you more. Just, you know, just be here. But uh, I would like to be uploading these smaller videos. Um, but I'm not sure if people like to see this whole like, uh, you know, this whole voiceover thing. I'm not really sure. You know, I'm still kind of exploring that because a lot of these videos like my WordPress ones, I'm not really showing my face at all. So I don't know how that works out and I'm still kind of like messing around with it. I'm still kind of exploring different options and seeing how that works. But uh, let me know what you guys think about everything I've done so far. You know, do you guys think it's a good idea? Do you think it's too big? Do you think that it's a, you know, do you think I need improvements? Uh, if you do watch these channels in these other languages, feel free to let me know how they are. So uh, let's say for example, you guys watch my Portuguese uh, channel. Let me know, you know, how was the translation going? You know, is he speaking well? Uh, you know, we actually do have someone else to proofread all this and they only proofread probably like 30 minutes of it. They don't watch the whole video because it's a lot of stuff. 
So there are some proofreaders that kind of go through a lot of this content just to make sure that's correct. And then once I get the green lights, I publish the video and everything is all good and good and, and done. So uh, yeah, that's how everything's done, guys. And um, if you guys have any questions for me, feel free to let me know in the comments below. And until then, I will see all of you party people in the next video, guys. Take care.